and now we return sort of to Matrix's fight. Oh no, this this is exclusive to Journey, this section. Well, it's highly similar to the Matrix's boss. Awesome. This is also one of my favourite bits of the game. Just because of the um, sound that the enemy bullets make, they just do this glorious chime. And it just sounds so beautiful. It really does. Uh, just <laughs> now this bit is kind of hard because it does throw a lot of bullets at you. But if you just keep Kind of things you'll just have the most glorious channel, just beautiful vision of it and stuff. And you see all these glowing neon lights around us. Now they actually appear in the music video for Make Believe, which I found quite funny. They're sort of like. Yeah, they're, they're in the music video, you know, and nice little touch there. Even though they didn't use the song, they still used elements of the video. It's just awesome. Now you you really do want to be quick with firing at these things, and you it you can have to sort of a bit of practice. Get it so you just wipe them out in one go and you can just keep attacking. It's good when you can do that. So the whole the whole purpose of this bit is sort of to get rid of the things that are circling the middle bit. Kind of obvious really. Yeah. And Lumi's inside there and we have to save her. Now, funnily enough, Make Believe, which is where all the neon lights come from, was is the world's first 3D and fully CGI music video. And because it was done at Sony's Make Believe concert, it made the Genki Rockets the first band to do a live 3D concert. Or they, they did a well, they were the first to do a live 3D concert or something to that effect. Which is just like, wow, impressive accolades, really. And this is where the... you've got to keep on your toes because you will get hit. And it's hard to avoid you, really, because there's that many. That's not the chime. Yeah, that's an excellent way of doing that bit. You just stick it in one place and you can get everything as it flies out. Obviously, you don't have that much luck when it comes to um, most of the other types of attack, but it works. There is a bit later on where you really want to um, keep those euphor you want to keep those euphoria bullets really badly because there's a moment coming up in a couple of minutes which really does require that you don't waste them now. after this, uh, the glowing ball in the middle is going to get kind of pissed off at you. Okay. Oh, thank you for that health. Is it, is it now? Yes, it's right now. Yeah. 
Lumi's getting out. Come on, girl. You can do this. You can beat this virus. And this is where Heavenly Star starts off proper. And this is the bit that you need to say here Euphoria is for, because if that circle closes, we've killed everything, you are going to be attacked by so many bullets that you are not going to know what hit you. And you really want to get in there. Because, so this is what you're saving your Euphoria for, this moment. Although there's a bit late in a second, which is perhaps even worse. But yeah, this bit is just... Wow! One more go, and then we've got this bit done. Come on! It doesn't really matter about art blocking stuff here, you don't have time. Really don't. Just fire away. And here we go for the last part of the boss. Lumi's nearly saved. Now these are hard to kill quickly. Basically just fuck let just let it fire away almost immediately. And that's what happens when you don't hit them in time. And for some reason, you can't hit new means. Well, you can't hit the things around. Oh no, you can. I thought you couldn't, but um, here you can. I'm just a blind bat. Yeah, you really want to be quick. Oh. And then my favourite moment in the game comes up right at the end. And it's glorious. Now there's a song that you will hear in a second, which you may think is actually part of Heavenly Star, but it's not. Its real title is in fact Prologue, Earthrise, and it's the first song on the Genki Rocket's first album. And it's just amazing. I, we're about to hit it now. So I'll shut up and let you listen to the glorious Prologue, Earthrise, because this cutscene is amazing. Now, I bet most of you thought, well, that was the end of the game. Oh, no, it's not. We've got the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in a video game to come up with one of the most beautiful songs I've heard ever. This is a glorious tree of knowledge. And what you want to do is hit all the glowing yellow lights. Nothing's going to attack you. And you are going to have loads of pictures appear. Now... Before the game was released, Ubisoft launched a contest, store competition, for people to send in pictures of the, I think it was the happiest moment of their life, 
and those that win appear in the game. And as you can see, it's all there. Now, the song that's playing in this segment is called Flow, and it's the other original Game to Rockets track that appears in the game. And I just love it to pieces. So, I'm going to shut up in a minute and let you enjoy the wondrous nature of this bit. See you in a bit. journey continues. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that wonderful ending to Child of Eden, and I hope you join me in the next playthrough or walkthrough. See you then. Bye! <laughs>